what's up everybody welcome back to day 10 of this march madness video challenge it's getting crazy we're in the double digits now today it's a super gross and rainy day outside so i thought we'll stay indoors and i'll hit you with another tutorial that i think everybody could use and that's how to have locked on stabilization to your subject in a video clip now this tutorial is going to take place in after effects but before you stress yourself out i promise it's super easy and anyone can do this i know red alarms go off when i hear after effects but trust me on this one so we're in after effects and i already have my clip pulled into the project over here and i'm just going to drag and drop it down into here to start a new composition now i'll go ahead and say this always works best with the wide clip doesn't really work well with a vertical clip we'll talk more about that in just a second i have a clip here that's super embarrassing it's me trying to dance obviously i'm a super world-class dancer but we're gonna track this footage and make it nice and smooth and see if we can put a cool little effect on it so the first First thing we want to do is we want to make sure our layer is selected and then we're going to come up to this tracker window up here if you don't see this tracker window you can come up to window and then scroll down to tracker and if you see this little check mark you should be able to see it but again we just want to make sure our clip is selected and then we're going to hit stabilize motion and that's going to pull up these two tracker points right here now this inner square is going to be your tracker point and you want to place it around whatever point you want to track and then this outside box is going to be your reference box or like your search box but we want to scale both these up and then i think i want to track like the center of my chest we'll see how that looks and i'll make this box just a little bit bigger and that looks good and generally the more motion you have in your video you're going to want this outside box to be bigger and once your tracker points are in place you want to just come over here to this options button we're going to change this little drop down menu to stop tracking now what this does is it's just going to stop the tracker whenever it messes up instead of trying to automatically find a new point or adjust to a new point i prefer this because usually it doesn't do a great job at picking a new point but anyways we'll hit okay so once you've done that now you're good to hit this track forward button and it's automatically going to start tracking that point and then boom you can see it messed up so it was a little weird there so i'm going to go back and fix these frames and you can just see these tracking points it brought way down here which these should all be kind of just up here. Put this back right in the center and then we'll continue tracking forward. And I'm moving around a lot in this shot and it doesn't have like a really good thing to lock on to. It's just kind of all one color. So it's not the best example, but if I were to want to like lock onto my red hat or something like that, it would probably be a lot easier. So boom, once you have all your tracker points set, you can just hit apply and it's gonna say apply dimensions X and Y, hit okay. Now when we come over here, everything is stabilized on to that point. Now I know what you're thinking. Yes, it's locked onto you, but you can see this clip moving all around. But there's an easy fix to that. We just come up to this clip, we hold option, and we scale it up a little bit. And that's why I said use a wide clip because it's definitely gonna move around a lot. So you can see I may even need to adjust it a little bit more and then reframe it to where I want it. But anyways, that's how you track yourself in the After Effects. And then you can just crop this workspace to the part that you stabilized and export it and then you have that clip there you have it that's a really cool effect that you can start using i see a lot of people using it in their dance tiktoks and stuff like that but it can also be used for a number of things so get creative with it and tag me in whatever you create with it but anyways that's all i have for day 10 if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions comments concerns drop them down below as always the best way you can support me is by smashing that subscribe button and don't forget to tune back in tomorrow for day 11 i'll see you there